Hi everyone, my name is Melissa and I'm a Community Activation and Learning Officer with Melton City Council. Today I'm sharing with you a fun activity that is perfect for your children that may love bugs, insects and creepy crawlies. We're making some critter craft and creating our own bug stick puppets. So once you've made a decision about what critters you're going to create, you can get your supplies organized. So what we need for this activity is some different colored card paper, uh, some pipe cleaners, pom-poms, assortment of googly eyes, some ice cream sticks, don't have to be colored ones. Any ice cream sticks that you've got are fine. Any other craft supplies that your kids are wanting to use to um, make their critters nice and creative and colorful is fine as well. We've got scissors here, big scissors, little scissors, and we have some craft glue just in the container with a paintbrush. I like to use a paintbrush with the craft glue because it gives them a bit more control over where they're putting the glue when they're putting them on their critters. Also have just a gray lead pencil so that way we can actually draw out the design of our critter on our piece of paper before we cut it out. So Jack and I have decided on four critters that we want to create today. We're going to be making a butterfly, a snail, a spider and a wiggly worm. So we've decided on our design for the four of those and we're going to get our glue out and start putting them all together. Now that we've finished the design on our critters, the next step is to stick our ice cream stick onto the back of our creation so that we can use them as little characters. So all you need to do is grab your ice cream stick, pop a little bit of glue on the back, and stick on and press down. Just let that sit for a few minutes so that way it's nice and secure and then they're ready to play with. What makes this activity great is that once the kids have finished creating their critters, there's still a lot that you can do to encourage creative play and have fun with their creations. A few of my ideas and suggestions are playing hide and seek with the critters in the backyard or throughout the house. So you can just pick up the critters pop them in different spots in the backyard um, and the kids can spend a little bit of time having some fun searching for them and finding them. 
Alternatively, they can hide them for you and you can have some fun trying to find the critters that they've hidden in the backyard. Another suggestion is creating um, a story or a performance with the critters. So um, the kids can come up with different names, um, different personalities for all the different critters. Um, and you can just sit there and role play and have a little bit of fun with them. Or they might want to put on a performance with the critters they have created um, and the characters and personalities they've created for their critters. If you have a child that is very much into movement, then another fun activity is um, moving like an insect. So you can talk about, you know, a spider and how a spider moves and then asking your child to crawl like a spider. You can talk about a worm and how a worm moves and asking your child to wiggle like a worm. Another great activity, which is fun for the whole family to get involved in, is to actually undertake a bug hunt. I downloaded a bug hunt checklist for Jack to use. There are plenty to choose from online or you could create your own. You can undertake the hunt in your backyard, at a local park or on a walk. And it's a great way to introduce science concepts to children in a way that nurtures their natural sense of curiosity. As your child is finding different insects, you can chat about their different characteristics, where they live, their life cycle and the roles different insects play in nature. We'd love to hear about the critters you created at home by leaving a comment on this video. If you're after more fun activity ideas to enjoy with your kids, then visit the Melton Learning website.